Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that will be linked with a January transfer move to the Arsenal. Now, great win yesterday for Arsenal. 4-1. Flattered us a bit, to be honest. Um, you know, that game was a lot closer than that. Uh, earlier on in the game, Fulham had two really clear-cut chances. I think it's through Ryan Sessegnon. Um the one-on-one, -on -one, which he didn't bury. And then after that, he missed one. And, you know, we went on to win 4-1. Great attacking play as usual. But yet again, the problems really, really in defence yesterday. Um, but Unai Emery got it right. And it was really interesting in the game. Fans booing when Alexander Lacazette, who scored in the game, was taken off. Um, Lots of fans booing, as a matter of fact. And uh, Emery was asked about it after the game and he was saying, listen, I did it. It was a tactical move. Well, listen, I think the fans owe him an apology because it worked out what he did. He said that he wanted to move Ramsey into that midfield because um, when Fulham bought on Seri, he was worried about that. He knows about Seri's abilities. Obviously, he used to um, play against Seri in the French League um, and he wanted to sort of stop Seri from playing. And of course, Ramsey scored. He left the Bamiang on and the Bamiang scored. So the manager got it right. Fans got it wrong yesterday. Um, so well done to Unai Emery. We've got to really trust in Unai Emery's judgment at the moment. We've got to say that most things on the pitch he's got right this season. He does still, though, have a big problem with defence. Um, we had our, our three defenders on the pitch yesterday in Mustafi, Koscielny, um, and Socrates, I think Socrates done well yesterday. Koscielny done better in the second half. Mustafi came off uh, with an injury. It sounded like it was a bit more illness than an actual, you know, um, muscle injury. Um, but again, as I said, against a more clinical team, we could have been 2-0 down in the first half of that game. And the defensive frailties are still there. And Unai Emery was being asked a lot of questions about that yesterday. Being asked a lot of questions about who he's going to bring in. I mean, you know, he was asked about transfers in general. And he said, these are his words, he says, it's not easy improving our team um, in the transfer market. But the club is working on, um, sorry, the club is working and watching different possibilities. Maybe we can sign... Um, one or two players. So he's, uh, they're saying that um, he's definitely looking at signing a couple of players. He was asked about Gary Cahill, if Gary Cahill would want to be, be one of these players that Arsenal might sign. He was asked about Cahill um, at his press conference and he said, uh, you know, at the moment um, we didn't speak about him is what he said. So at the moment it doesn't look like uh, he's making any moves on Cahill. Fulham actually, we played yesterday, apparently interested in bringing in Cahill on a loan deal. Um, but it sounds like from how he said it yesterday, he could be disguising it. But at this moment in time, Arsenal are not interested in Cahill. It's really interesting actually, funny yesterday, because I was asking a lot of fans about that, um, you know, after the game. Would Cahill be a good player to bring in? I have to say the vast majority did not seem very keen on, on Gary Kelly. I don't know if it's because he's obviously a Chelsea player. A lot of fans, you know, heart back to when we brought in um, Mikel Silvestre from Manchester United. And um, they just think to themselves, no, no, no. We don't want to see another sort of Chelsea cast off, you know, coming into Arsenal. But if we've got defensive problems and if there's not a lot of money around that could be um, an alternative. Um, Una Emery was also asked at the press conference about the possibilities of bringing back um, Callum Chambers, who, of course, is on loan at Fulham. Um, uh, Callum Chambers uh, didn't play in the game because, uh, obviously, he's on loan from Arsenal, so he's not allowed to play against um, the team he's on loan from. But uh, Una Emery, again, um, suggesting that we're not going to be going back to get Callum Chambers. Now, the talk is that if we were to go back in and bring Callum Chambers back from Fulham, Arsenal would incur a big fee for doing that. So that's why they're not very keen on bringing Callum Chambers back to, to Arsenal. Again, the thing that really annoys me, it's always, this, it's always a money argument when it comes to Arsenal. I know you've got to be 
obviously careful with your money. There's a lot of money that gets spent in football, but if we need Callum Chambers back, we should just go and get him back. Why are we worrying about incurring a fee? But that's the talk on that one. Callum Chambers will be staying at Fulham until the end of the season. I think they'll be happy about that because uh, he's been doing quite well for them in recent weeks. Um, Reese Nelson as well is another player that we could bring back on loan. We all know that we need width. Henrik Mkhitaryan, who's been playing out on uh, those wing, is out for, you know, he's going to be out for about at least eight weeks. Reese Nelson, we could bring him back. But again, um, Apparently, Arsenal are not going to be bringing Reese Nelson back in January. They want him to continue his development at Hoffenheim. He's been doing really well there. He scored six goals in 19 appearances. So, doing really, really well at Hoffenheim. And they want him to stay there and continue his development. The other person, actually, that um, Unai Emery was asked about his press conference yesterday was Aaron Ramsey, of course, who scored that uh, vital goal in the game when it was 2-1 to kind of make us comfortable again. Came on and did really, really well in the game. Um, Unai Emery was asked if he's going to be leaving in January. And um, Unai Emery said that he thinks that um, Ramsey will still be at the club in January. So it doesn't look like they're going to try and cash in on him early. It's starting to look like he will move possibly abroad. I mean, listen, he can go wherever he wants now. That's the thing. You know what I mean? His contract has run down yet again. And he can go wherever he wants. And you know what? If you get a chance today, watch the video I did yesterday with Graham. I thought that he made such a great point in that video. In that he was saying that when you look at, you know, I know a lot of people are saying, look what Liverpool have done. And, you know, that's what we need to do. Now, when you look at what Liverpool have done, buying Van Dyke, buying Alisson, looking at the problems that they've got, and going out there and fixing it just like that. We have to remember one thing. Liverpool have made a lot of money through the sales of other players. So the big one was Philip Coutinho. When they sold Coutinho, £140 million. And they used that money to go out there and buy Alisson and go out there and buy Van Dijk. Remember, it was in January they bought Van Dijk. They paid way over the odds at the time for Van Dijk. There was a lot of people at the time saying that Liverpool must be crazy to pay that sort of money. But they knew that Virgil van Dijk is that commanding, leader-type centre-half that they needed. Southampton were saying, listen, it's January. We don't want to let our star player go. Sorry, if you want him, you're going to have to pay a king's ransom. They said, well, you know what? We've made a lot of money from those sales. Here's the money, and they bought him. In Arsenal's case now, look at the mess that we have had over the past couple of years. And you've got to say that Ivan Gazidis, uh, I don't know if Wenger's involved in it, but whoever, you've got, you really has to rest with Gazidis, who's now moved on, because he was looking after, he was the person in charge of those transfers, right? What a mess. How many of our players have gone for nothing? Jack Wilshire, an England international, considered, you know, a top player, we know about the injury problems, but he left for nothing. Jack Wilshire. Aaron Ramsey is about to leave this football club for nothing. And that's nothing to do with Unai Emery and that. They want to get some money off of the wage bill. And they've looked at it and said, boy, we're going to have to sacrifice Ramsey. That's basically what it's come down to. They don't want to get rid of Ramsey. They're having to sacrifice Ramsey to raise the funds to be able to invest in other players. Again, that is the fault of the old regime contract running out. Danny Welbeck, up until him getting injured, it would have been the same thing with him that come now January, Danny Welbeck would have been subject to lots of teams wanting to come and get him because again, we've let his contract run down. He's in the last year. Alexis Sanchez, right? Alexis Sanchez. How much money if we would have put him on a contract and then he would have started piping up and saying he wanted to go to Manchester United, etc. How much money would we have got for him? He would have been like uh, 50, 60 million pounds we would have been able to command for him. But instead, we allowed him to go for next to nothing because he was like contract running out. Again, this is just not good enough or it's not been good enough in the past. These guys that are coming now, you saw... 
what Raul Sinelli said. The first thing he said, and I'm sorry to be going on a bit of a rant here, but the first thing he said is, we will never allow any of our players' contracts to run down like this again. So that means that he recognises straight away that Arsenal's transfer policy, if something that we've been saying since we've been doing this show now about five years, is an utter joke and an utter mess. I've spoken to agents before who said to me, Robbie, Arsenal in the transfer market are a laughing stock. It's only now, it's only now that this new recruitment team have come in that you see a proper plan to our transfer um, thing. You see they're looking to ship out players if, if, and bring money in. It's like they're having to start from scratch and I, I almost feel sorry for them. And with all the talk going around, uh, you know, money's tight and stuff like that, they've been put in that situation by the old regime. We've got to be clear with that. And Graham made that point yesterday and I think it's so, so true. And this is what's making it so hard for Unai Emery. This is why he's having to let Ramsey go because he's got to free up, you know, we remember we've got things like financial fair play as well. We're not in the Champions League, so we're not getting that mega income coming in. So we've got to watch the wages that we pay out. And the old regime were paying these crazy wages and signing players that, quite frankly, weren't good enough for Arsenal. Mohamed El Nenny, is he good enough for Arsenal? He's not even playing, this guy, partly. And he's a squad player, but... And he's on good wages, you know? Whose idea was it to put Mesut Ozil on £350,000 a week? The old regime. Because they were trying to appease the fans because they'd messed up on Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez had to go to Manchester United and they're thinking, oh my God, oh, if, if, if uh, Ozil goes as well, these fans are going to go mad. We've got to do something. So they went and paid him more than what he should have been paid. This is all down to the old regime. They really have messed things up. And this is why we're going to have to be patient with Unai Emery because it is going to take him time to get his players in. And he's not really got the funds available to go and spend, you know, at the top of the market because we're not in the Champions League. And that's why it's vital, vital, vital to get back in it. But you need players to get back in it. Um... Talking of, uh, I was saying a minute ago about Reese Nelson going over to the Bundesliga. Um, Christian Pulisic, um, who's a really, really good player at Dortmund. Another one of the missile intact guys that he spotted when he was at Dortmund. He's only 20 uh, US international. Now, Arsenal been linked with him. There's lots of rumours that Arsenal um, offered £35 million pounds, um, for Christian Pulisic, but that, that was uh, turned down. Um, Chelsea now said to be in the driving seat to sign Pulisic, but um, let's keep our eyes on that one, see what happens with that. Now, this one's a bit of a weird one that's been flying around for now for the past couple of weeks, and that's Kayla Navas um, of Real Madrid. Of course, Real Madrid's goalkeeper. Um, he's 32 now, Costa Rican international. I think he's a captain. Now, he's reportedly said and told people that he's going to be leaving Real Madrid. Of course, they got Thibaut Courtois in. He's not playing and um, he's available, valued at around about £14 million. Um, now, there's lots of rumours that Arsenal want to get Kayla Navas and might even get him in this January transfer window. Again, it doesn't kind of make sense, this one, to me, because, you know, we've got Bern Leno we paid, um, you know, just under £20 million for. we still got Czech there. I know there's talk that he could be a long-term replacement for Czech, Kayla Navas. Probably better at playing the ball out of the back and stuff like that. But Kayla Navas is openly saying, I want to go and play week in, week out. Now, Bern Leno's there and he's like our main man that we bought in. The, the Kayla Navas links just doesn't make any sense to me. But um, they're still out there and really, really flying around. Let's keep our eye on that one for the month of January. Arsenal also linked with this talented player from Roma, um, who goes by the name of uh, Sengiz Under, 21-year-old um, uh, forward. Uh, there's reports coming out of Turkey that Roma rejected a £55 million bid from Arsenal um, for uh, Sengiz Under. Um, this is according to Futamac. I've got to say, that, you know, the Turkish, in my years of doing AFTV Transfer Daily, 
the Turkish media links are never very accurate at all, right? Um, bordering on a lot of times completely made up. I can't see Arsenal bidding £55 million pound at this moment in time for this player. Um, but, uh, you know, that's what the rumour is. He plays for Roma, uh, 21 years of age, as I said. And, um, you know, he's been scoring goals, but I just can't see that. Talking of another Roma player, Costas Manolos now. I think would be a perfect signing for Arsenal. We've been, we looked at him before he even went to Roma. Um, he's 27 now. He's said to have a £34 million release clause in his contract. And again, um, if he did come to Arsenal, that would be great, linking up two Greek players in that, uh, in that defence with him and Socrates. Um, however, we've been told today that Manchester United seem to be the favourites now to sign him and um, would be willing to meet his £34 million release clause. Um, but again, let's see if that happens. Manolos, will co of course, remember with release clauses, the player needs to want to go as well. And uh, Roma's still in the Champions League. Manolos may not want to leave at this moment in time, well, especially not for us. You know, we're not in the Champions League, are we? So that's the problem that we've got. Um, and what about Denis Suarez? And it's another player that's been linked very heavily uh, with Arsenal. Denis Suarez at Barcelona, very talented player in the midfield. Of course, we know that Ramsey is going to be leaving. Um, Arsenal apparently um, have been in talks, according to reports, with Barcelona um, over Denis Suarez. Arsenal said to favour a loan move. And with all the talk we've been hearing about loan moves, um, you can't discount that, the fact that Arsenal might be looking to get a loan move for Denis Suarez. Um, but again, that's another one that could be a possibility for January. And as I said, Unai Emery saying at his press conference yesterday that he's looking at one or two players. So let's see if uh, that could be a possibility. Um, listen, thanks for watching um, AFTV Transfer Daily today. Please let me know what players you think Arsenal should be signing. Um, I'd really love to hear from you guys. Who do you think Arsenal should be signing in this January transfer window? Thanks for watching and we'll be back tomorrow.